Alright, before I start, any Monster Hunter fans who have joined us, you can see if this video is your cup of tea, and if it ain't, feel free to just wait for more Monster Hunter content. They're coming, I swear. Okay, to the video. Last episode, we tested to see whether Magical Mallet had an unfair probability of being a useless piece of shit. If you want to see how that went, go check that one out. But let me tell you, that shit took forever to make. I'm talking at least a week of finishing work and mindlessly collecting data in a children's card game. And before Extra Shoddy asks about my mental state again, what do you think? And so, I've resolved to never, ever do another probability checking video, ever again. A lot of you folks were kind enough to point out that the whimsical Red Hammer isn't the singular source of every broken RNG theory in the game. There's many, and one of them is Reload, which I'm not testing today, but I had to mention, because could we talk about this card art? Is this man reloading an ancient Egyptian firearm lined with hieroglyphics? Is this a magazine pyramid? Like, what the fuck? I thought this was a TCG censoring or something, but no. The OCG version looks exactly like this too. Oh hey look, Gemini FTK. Anyway, I just thought I would point that out to you guys. Plus, while we won't be testing Reload today, we will be testing out a Reload skill. Level 5 Reload is a pretty simple skill. You take a level 5 monster in your hand, you hand it back to your deck, your deck takes a quick look, and then it gives it back to you. Ah ha 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 ha, just kidding. Or maybe not. That's actually what we're here today to find out. And to find out, we're once again gonna need a deck. What do you think I should use, Demon of the Abyss? Use Madolches. Well, you heard them, folks. What a great choice, as Madolches have their own level 5 Garnet. Here's the deck I'm gonna be using to test. It has 3 reload targets and 17 normies. How will the test work? I'm going to make sure that when I test the skill, I have two puddings in the deck, 15 cards in the deck, and one pudding in hand. Why so specific? Honestly, it's to make my life easier. I'm hoping that it's going to be more consistent to have the ability to search a pudding going first, and just hope I have one going second. Why are there still magical mallets? Good question. I have the magical mallets in here in case I need to do some finagling on my hand before activating the skill. And now, it's time to stop talking and start testing. It's been nice knowing you guys. Oh, wait, maybe I'll get someone to help me or something. Uh, this took even longer than last time. Everyone in Legend has Effect Veiler and they kept blasting my pudding cyst search. And sometimes I would open multiple pudding cysts, which would be fine if I opened some mallets. The only real problem is if I open three pudding cysts and no mallets. And oh, wait, look, there it is. Well, let's look at the numbers. Once again, I tested 200 times, and I got 44 times I returned a pudding cyst and got back a pudding cyst. The expected rate I should be getting is 3 out of 15, or 20% of the time. And 44 out of 200 is... Man, I don't know guys, I used to think this skill was broken too, but like, this looks pretty fair to me. At least from the way I did my test. And... To separate us from the beasts. Okay, so I have a bit of a confession. Last time, I definitely messed up my p-value calculations. Luckily for us, we were calculating more as a formality, since our numbers were honestly pretty close. So thanks to Mary and Laura for helping me figure that out. And also thanks to them, I realized that for this type of problem, I can just use binomial distribution and just calculate the chances of it being outside the bounds or something like that. It's not symmetric, but luckily for us, there are calculators you can use to calculate this for us. And yeah, high p-value because honestly, we're pretty close to what we were expecting. So what did we learn today? We learned that suffering is a part of life. And through that suffering, that level 5 reload is mostly, probably, likely not broken. At least for the way I tested it. 
Now, if you think it is broken or have a problem with the way I did the test, I urge you to set up a deck in the way that you think is the most unfair from a level 5 reload perspective, sit down and test 200 trials in ranked PvP. I would be more than happy to see the results you get as well. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. You can probably tell, but I'm going to be juggling these videos and Monster Hunter ones because I am incredibly excited for Wilds to come out. So if you're interested in what you've seen, check out more, or subscribe and wait for the ones you like to come out. Bye everybody, bye.